Tyson Foods announced last month plans to move up to 1,000 corporate workers from offices in Chicago and South Dakota to its headquarters in Springdale. While that move adds pressure to the housing market in this fast-growing region, local officials say they're confident the area can handle the growth and they're eager for more. Arkansas business editor Lance Turner joins us with more this afternoon. And Lance, what have we learned about Tyson's corporate plan since the October 5th announcement? Well, local leaders are still just kind of now starting to quantify exactly what it means and what the move will mean to Springdale and Northwest Arkansas. The Northwest Arkansas Council has published a study that said if 800 of the 1,000 or so people actually move to Northwest Arkansas early next year, uh, that could mean a $250 million economic impact. Uh, that figure includes new local and state uh, sales tax dollars, but it also means the ripple effect of all the jobs that will need to be created to support that influx of population, jobs in healthcare, education, and construction. Speaking of construction, we have seen the housing market boom in Northwest Arkansas. We're talking 128% growth in the past decade. What are those officials saying about how this move will impact the housing market here? Well, it's interesting. Springdale Mayor Doug Sprouse is aware of those concerns about the housing market specifically, uh, but he says it really shouldn't have too much of a negative effect on the market. He said Springdale is already a fast growing city. They're already dealing with these housing challenges. Uh, Nelson Peacock at the Northwest Arkansas Council uh, says he thinks that Tyson residents, the new Tyson employees, won't cause an undue strain. Uh, they really have confidence that the housing market is going to moderate in the near term and that those higher interest rates will start to take hold and developers will be able to increase the number of available homes. And on that point, the mayor uh, said it's going to be important for the city to look for ways to incentivize developers to increase that stock, that inventory of available homes. And speaking of growth, there was obviously a larger discussion about growth at the state of Northwest Arkansas region last week. What did we learn there? Well, I think the bottom line there is, according to the economists and local leaders that spoke at that event, is that as good as Northwest Arkansas is doing, there are lots of areas to work on. Uh, leaders said the region needs to really focus on uh, research and development in the area, building up that sector, also attracting and retaining people with bachelor's degrees. Uh, and sprawl is another issue that, that a lot of our cities in Northwest Arkansas are going to have to deal with. Uh, experts said local leaders are going to have to make a lot of hard decisions about things like zoning, transportation, and highways uh, and really work to craft an overall vision uh, of what Northwest Arkansas is going to look like in regards to all of those issues. A lot of change on the horizon. Thank you, Lance, for your expertise this afternoon. And for this story and much more, you can go to ArkansasBusiness.com.